the new Jarvis from Google with Gemini. 2.0 technology can be incredibly powerful. When we talk about Jarvis and artificial intelligence, who do we think of, huh? Comment below. Have you ever imagined what it would be like to have an artificial intelligence that does your computer tasks for you without you having to touch anything? Think about all the time you could save by delegating those repetitive and tiring tasks to an artificial intelligence. In today's video, we will discover how Google is bringing this to reality with Jarvis and Gemini 2.0 technology, promising to change everything we know about digital assistants. Are we really ready to let an artificial intelligence take on this level of control in our lives? We will also explore the risks and possibilities of this technology and discuss what it means for our future. Stay tuned because we will answer these questions and much more in addition to understanding how this technology can transform the way we live and work. To start, you already know, comment below if you would trust an artificial intelligence to do your tasks on the computer for you. I want to know if you are ready to take this step or if there are still concerns about it. Do you think it's worth giving up control to gain convenience or do you prefer to keep everything in your own hands? I was torn, but I think I would let the computer manage some tasks like... And you comment below. Don't forget to like and share the link to this video in WhatsApp and Telegram groups so that the people you like stay updated on this topic agreed. Let's continue. Google has introduced a new artificial intelligence experiment that goes beyond simply answering questions or generating texts. Imagine an AI that not only assists you, but literally performs tasks on your computer for you. That's what Google's Jarvis project is about, based on Gemini 2.0 technology. But how far can this technology go? Let's explore this now in detail. The Jarvis project represents a significant advancement towards automating browser usage. This AI built on the Gemini 2.0 model is capable of performing tasks that would traditionally be done manually, such as research, booking tickets, and online shopping. The differentiator lies in the direct integration with the Chrome browser, where Jarvis operates as an autonomous agent navigating and filling in information for the user. Imagine how much this could revolutionize the way we use the internet. We are not just asking for help from an assistant, but delegating complete activities to an AI that executes everything accurately, saving our time and effort. The Gemini 2.0 model is an evolution of previous architectures, utilizing the transformer and the mixture of experts approach, which allows the AI to manage different types of information in an optimized manner. In this way, Jarvis can perform tasks efficiently, choosing the best strategies to automate actions in real time. This implies that with a simple command, an entire process that would previously take a lot of time can be automated. Think of those routine and tiring tasks that take up a good part of our day. Now, they can be completed quickly and efficiently by a digital assistant that understands your needs and acts accordingly. An important point to consider is why would we need an AI like this when we already have virtual assistants and chatbots? The answer lies in the evolution of AI agents. We are moving from a context where assistants only respond to texts to a new phase where they are capable of performing tasks autonomously. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, and now Google are in this race, but Jarvis brings something different. It operates directly in Chrome, allowing for deeper interaction and control of the browser environment. While other assistants still require significant human interaction, Jarvis has the ability to act on its own, making decisions based on the commands received and the context of online activities. The true strength of Jarvis lies in its ability to interpret commands by analyzing visual elements on the screen, such as text fields, buttons, and links. In addition, it has a robust memory, capable of storing up to 2 million tokens, which not only allows for understanding user commands, but also for storing a detailed history of interactions. This means that Jarvis can execute complex sequences of tasks without the need for constant user intervention, offering a level of integration and continuity that has not yet been achieved by other assistants. This type of expanded memory allows for connecting information from different activities, 
ensuring a smoother and more effective experience. Let's go to a practical example. If you want to book a flight, instead of opening multiple tabs, searching for options, and filling out various forms, you simply inform your preferences to Jarvis, and it does all the work for you. Although it is still in the testing phase, the promise is that this technology will make our lives easier to the point of eliminating the need to manage so many tabs and windows at the same time. Some rumors suggest that Jarvis may be launched as early as December of this year, signaling a new era of automation on the web. Imagine the convenience of no longer having to worry about the details of reservations. Purchases or extensive searches all being done automatically while you focus on other more relevant activities. However, this raises a question. Are we really prepared for this technology? Comment below. We are talking about handing over our browsing habits, search preferences, and even sensitive information such as credit card data to an AI that is constantly learning from this information. Dangerous, isn't it? Besides the obvious privacy challenges, the question of control arises. With the advancement of these AIs, will we be able to maintain the final word over their decisions? And if a hacker managed to compromise an AI agent, would they have access to our entire digital life? These are critical issues that need to be discussed, as although automation is appealing, the risks are real and can have very serious consequences. Reports indicate that the launch of Jarvis will initially be limited to a small group of testers so that Google can address potential bugs and enhance security. This cautious approach is essential to avoid issues and ensure that the technology is ready for a larger audience. In addition to simplifying our tasks, Google is also applying its AI to transform the shopping experience. For example, if you are in Orlando looking for a winter coat, Google will take the local weather into account and recommend waterproof coats. This demonstrates how AI is increasingly integrating into our daily lives, providing tailored solutions for different needs. Another interesting innovation is the AI virtual try-on feature, which allows the user to visualize how a piece of clothing would look on their body without needing to try it on physically. Although it is currently available only for a few brands, this advancement represents a significant change in the online shopping experience. This personalization, while fascinating, also raises concerns about the privacy, as with each interaction and purchase, more personal data is provided to Google. This situation raises the question of how this information is used and to what extent we are willing to share so much with a system that is always learning about our habits and preferences. With the advancement of AI, there is a growing effort to ensure greater transparency in the use of these technologies. For example, Google plans to start identifying photos edited with AI, making it clear that they have been manipulated. Apple is implementing similar measures, and this transparency is essential as edits made by AI are often so realistic that it becomes difficult to distinguish what is authentic. From what has been altered, ensuring that users can trust the information presented is crucial, especially in a scenario where digital manipulations have become increasingly sophisticated. Behind all this technological advancement, there is a significant economic issue. Companies like Google and Microsoft invest billions in AI and need a return on these investments. Assistants like Jarvis represent a way to monetize these technologies, integrating them naturally into our daily activities to the point where we can hardly imagine our lives without them. This is precisely the goal of large companies to make AI indispensable. The more we use these tools, the more data we provide. And this feeds a cycle of continuous development and improvement that benefits both companies and consumers, but also increases our dependence on these technologies. We are at a critical point of transformation in our relationship with technology. It's no longer just about using AI for research or answers, but about giving it autonomy to act on our behalf. Although this perspective is exciting, it will take some time for us to fully understand all the risks and benefits involved. Furthermore, when delegating this power, it is essential that there are control mechanisms that ensure our safety and privacy. Until then, 
we await the launch of Jarvis in December. Are we ready for this change? Will the benefits outweigh the challenges and risks involved? Guys, after exploring everything that Google is bringing with Jarvis and the Gemini 2.0 technology, in my opinion, it is clear that we are facing a significant change in the way we interact with the Internet. The promise of delegating complex tasks to Maya represents a revolution in productivity and convenience, allowing us to focus, engage in more creative and strategic activities. However, this transformation also brings risks related to privacy and security as we are handing over control of our information to technologies that are still in development. The challenge will be to find a healthy balance between the benefits and the risks, ensuring that our privacy is protected and that we maintain decision-making power over our actions. And now I want to know from you how far are you willing to give up control for more convenience? Comment down below, this video doesn't end now, it continues with us talking in the comments. If you find the news interesting, like, share and subscribe.